Welcome to Celtic Advent, day 6, November the 20th. And today I'm coming to you from a car park. <laughs> this is a bit of an experiment, not one I'm planning to repeat too often, but it's interesting. Uh, there's a busyness to the season and there's a busyness in our lives right now. We're moving our daughter from the house that she's lived in for quite some time to another house. Wow, it really is busy. And um, they're shopping in Ikea. And while they're shopping in Ikea, I'm in the car park. So it's, it's fascinating to me to be here and to do this amidst all the mayhem of life, actually. And today we're reflecting once again on the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, who is the creator of all things. Yesterday we focused on the fact that he was hovering over the waters at the beginning of time. So we're going to use the same scripture we used yesterday and it's true for today as well. We're going to just look at a flip on exactly the same thought we had yesterday but we're switching it around a little bit today. So Genesis 1 begins, this is a slightly different translation. In the beginning God created everything, the heavens above and the earth below. Here's what happened. At first, the earth lacked shape and was totally empty, and a dark fog draped over the deep, while God's spirit wind hovered over the surface of the empty waters. Then there was the voice of God, let there be light. So we talked yesterday of how the Holy Spirit at the beginning of time hovered over the, the waters that covered the earth. And he hovered over the emptiness and the darkness and the chaos. And we reflected on the fact that in our lives we have an emptiness. We often have a darkness. We often have a chaos. And in the emptiness we need fullness. And in the darkness we need light. And in the chaos we need order. And so we were leaning into God yesterday for what he might do for us. But what God does is that he uses humans just like us to impact the world around us as well. And so today we're reflecting on the fact that not only does God, the Holy Spirit, do these things for us, turn our emptiness into fullness, turn our darkness into light, turn our chaos into order, but he comes alongside us, it says in the New Testament, that he's like someone who comes right alongside us and then he helps us to be a far better version of ourselves. He helps us to be transformed into the image of Christ. And so today's reflection is really about how can I help those around me where there's emptiness to know fullness, etc. So let's just take a little time out for a moment. And as I say, I love the fact that I'm surrounded by the mayhem of the shopping car park here. And just think about the lives around you and the world around you. And just ponder for a moment. Where are you aware that there's emptiness that so needs filling up? And where would you be aware that there's darkness that needs light? And where would you be aware that there's chaos that needs to be brought into order? Let's just ponder those things for a moment. Let's just take it a step further and dwell on the fact that God wants to work through us. So just dwell on the fact that he invites you to work alongside the work that he's doing to change the earth, to change someone's life. Who is it that he wants you to reach out to? Let's just dwell on that for a moment. And of course, today's action is very clear, isn't it? To actually go and make a difference. So just as we're pondering the action of who you might actually go to and get alongside what God's doing in their lives, and bring them 
fullness, bring them light, bring them a sense of order. And let me read this poem written by a ninth century monk, Veni Creator Spiritus, is the English translation and a shortened version of it. Come, Holy Ghost, create a blast, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, thou heavenly gift of God most high, thou fount of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. O finger of the hand divine, the sevenfold gifts of grace are thine. True promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Thy light to every sense impart, and shed thy love in every heart. Thine own unfailing might supply to strengthen our infirmity. Praise we the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit with them one, and may the Son on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow. Just a short prayer. Holy Spirit, empower us to be the fullness that someone else needs where they're feeling empty right now. Empower us to be the light that someone needs when they're feeling like they're in darkness right now. And empower us to bring a sense of order where someone might be feeling in chaos right now. And in it all, help us to create beauty as you always do, Holy Spirit. Amen. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Probably not from a car park. <laughs> Bye now.